Now, under this reasons review unit 1, finding unknown angles and proofs, I am going to demonstrate you now this 24th question. Here it is a proof. In the diagram at the right, at the, uh, the proof that measure of angle D plus measure of angle E minus measure of angle A is 180. That means, it is given like this. This figure, uh, using the ruler, I have drawn like this. This line is parallel to this line, but already this line is parallel to this one. Therefore, this is also parallel to this. Now, when these two lines are parallel, this is transversal. This angle A and here, these two are alternate interior angles. So, this is also A, but already it is given the total is E. Therefore, if you subtract from this E, this A, this will be E minus a this angle is e minus a now this uh, d plus e minus a the sum is 180 so to prove that first what i do uh, so i am naming this as angle 1 and this as angle 2 so angle 1 is equal to angle a the reason is alternate interior angles congruent and again second point angle 2 is equal to e minus a that is subtraction property next if you see this line and this line these two angles are sum so measure of angle D plus measure of angle E minus measure of angle A is equal to 180. Why these two angles, this angle and this angle sum is 180? Because the reason is same sided, same sided interior angles are supplementary that is the reason supplementary so this is what we want 180 that's what i have proved so hence proved hence proved so in this way i had to prove 24th problem again if you see the 25th one here this is also just like that what is he saying measure of a plus measure of D minus measure of B is 180. For that, first you have to see this line. This line is parallel to this line. Therefore, this angle and this angle e are alternate inter angles. So, number one. So, angle A, measure of angle A is measure of B plus measure of C. What is the reason? Alternate interior angles are congruent next second second uh, thing is here this line is parallel to this line therefore angle d and angle c are same sided interior angles therefore measure of angle d plus measure of angle c their sum is 180 degrees the reason is same sided interior angles supplementary next third point so i am writing one more time measure of angle d but instead of measure of c we can subtract measure of b here right so instead of that first let me subtract measure of a minus measure of c is equal to measure of angle b the property is subtraction property subtraction property then fourth one measure of angle d plus instead of measure of c we can write measure of a minus measure of b 
that is equal to 180 degrees this is substitution property substitution property so this is what we want that's what i have proved hence proved only thing is that i have to write here instead of measure of a minus measure of c it should be measure of b minus measure of c then i substituted for measure of c, c this is a measure of a minus b that's it thank you